Hi guys, Sherry here from No Pucks Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a twin flame reading for uh, September the 15th until the 22nd. So I think I'm going to do a divine partnership reading, but I'm not going to pull the three clarifiers per position. I'm not going to do an extended reading. I'm just going to use um, the main position cards. So I'll be using the John Holland Psychic Tarot for the feminine. So let's pull those cards first. And if I need to use clarifiers, I'll use my cards. Okay, and the bottom of the deck. Let's put it over here. Okay, and for the masculine, I'm going to be using the John Holland Psychic Tarot of the Heart. So that way Spirit can play with the two decks. Let's see if we can pick up some synchronicities. All right, so pull the cards. Okay, so I think we'll begin with um, the overall energy. Okay, so for the feminine, it is Eight of Cups, Emotional Withdrawal. So the fem feminine collective is pulling away, is letting go. Um, this is a pilgrimage of, of self-discovery. It is walking away from an emotionally draining situation um, in order to heal your, yourself, find solitude. So at the moment, the feminine energy has turned their back on the connection. And it's so that she can make decisions that are best for herself at the moment. For the masculine, wow. <laughs> very similar energy rest and reconsideration the nine of wands this is the wounded warrior so you've the you've both turned your back on each other the wounded warrior this is being through countless batter, battles being knocked down time and time again and wanting to give up and walk away uh, take the easy route so here in this card um, it is showing an energy that is also retreating reconsidering and resting so although the image you know the images are very s similar the the nine of wands has to do with spirituality being on a spiritual journey and being exhausted you know the he's desiring a completion but this card also represents spiritual strength at the core of who he is. He still has that little Buddha driving him on. He still has the strength to give it a, a final push. Whereas the feminine is withdrawing from emotions. She feels that she's being manipulated on some level. And so she's in a healing state while the masculine is in a resting state. Okay, get in there. All right, so let me just lay these cards down so that you can see the back rows. Sorry, guys. Okay, so how does the, va the masculine view this connection? So this is the Eight of Wands success and growth so the eight of wands usually indicates manifestation um, it's being on a spiritual path and feeling successful about it feeling like you're surrounded by positive energy and so if you notice here though the masculine has turned his back on the connection he is working on his own spiritual growth, even though he feels that um, the feminine is helping him to grow, because this is how he sees this connection as growth, as manifestation. This card also represents communication, Cupid's arrows. So the masculine is sending out positive vibrations, but also working on his, 
his own personal growth. How does the feminine view the connection to a pentacles movement choices and decisions? So she feels like she's being pulled in two different directions. She feels that her 3D reality is changing or needs to be changed. And so she kind of feels lost, um, unsteady. This is the wind of change. So it's like the seed has been planted, intention has been planted, and it's taking root. And as it does, there's a sense of feeling um, unstable. So the message in this card is for the feminine to regain her balance, to be resilient and bend with the wind. Although she doesn't know what's happening, there is change, there is growth. So again, we have an image here of a person who is facing in a different direction. What is a masculine resisting? Seven of Cups, daydreams and decisions. So this is knowing what you want, but not knowing how to get it. There's a lot of choices. So it's in his resisting position. The message of this card is to follow your heart. So as he's in this meditative resting state, he's considering all of his options. Now this card also points to daydreaming, to um, seeing things that may be an illusion. Um, so he's trying to get to the truth of a matter. Again, the message is to follow his heart. What is a fem feminine resisting? Four of Pentacles, Firm Foundation. So sh the feminine so far is caught in the 3D reality. The masculine is spirituality, it seems. So the feminine doesn't feel safe or secure. She doesn't feel grounded. Um, this is an energy of being closed off, holding on too tightly or not letting somebody in. So, wow. Heavy energies again turning her back on the connection. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one card from the Osho Zen. And so I'll pull one for the Seven of Cups and one for the Four of Cups. Seven first, Success and Victory, and the Ace of Cups. So Six of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So I pulled the Six of Wands for the Seven of Cups. Again, Wand is spirituality. And a repeated theme, success and growth. And here we have success. This character is obviously on top of the world right now. And the whole world is celebrating his success with the Tinker Tape parade. Because of your willingness to accept the recent challenges of your life, you're now or soon will be enjoying the wonderful ride on a tiger of success. Welcome it, enjoy it, and share your joy with others. And remember that all bright parades have a beginning and an end. If you keep this in mind and you squeeze every drop of juice out of the happiness you are experiencing now, you will be able to take the future you will be able to take the future as it comes without regrets. But don't be tempted to try to hold on to the, this abundant moment or coat it in plastic so that it lasts forever. The greatest wisdom uh, to keep in mind with all the phenomenon in the parade of life, whether they be valleys or peaks, is that this too shall pass. Celebrate, yes, and keep on riding the tiger. So he's, he doesn't feel successful. He, he feels, because he does feel successful about the connection, but he's got his back turned to the union. Um, 
considering his options and ultimately you know he will be following his heart right so he he doesn't believe fully that this connection is a success he's getting he's feeling lost in thought and fear and exhaustion so you know, I feel this pressure is building beneath the surface. So the feminine um, got the ace of, of cups going with the flow, and that's for the four of cups in the resisting, sorry, the four of pentacles in the resisting position. The figure in this card is completely relaxed and at ease in the water letting it take her, or sorry, take him where it will. He has mastered the art of being passive and receptive without being dull or sleepy. He is just available to the currents of life with, a never thought, with never a thought of saying, I don't like that or I prefer to go the other way. Every moment in life we have a choice whether to enter life's waters and float or try to swim upstream. When this card appears in a reading, it is an indication that you are able to float now, trusting that life will support you in your relaxation and take you exactly where it wants to go. Allow the feeling of trust and relaxation to grow more and more. Everything is happening exactly as it should. Wow. Wow. So, what I'm feeling here, obviously the Ace of Cups is, you know, the Rider Waite deck, it points to a new beginning of love. And this card only shows up when you've done your work, when you've let go of the past, you've healed your heart, and you're truly open to receive love into your life. So there's a sense that the feminine, although there's a feeling of her closing off, it may be observed or viewed that way, interpreted that way. But in reality, she is just letting go, going with the flow, allow the, allowing the current of life to bring her exactly where she needs to go so I feel she is resisting either she's resisting being closed off or she is closed off and spirit is asking her to open up and go with the flow okay so the message from the higher self for the masculine wow four of wands join stability so this is the confirmation of a twin flame connection. If you had any doubt, your higher self is telling you that this is true love. That this connection represents something that you've never experienced before. It is undying love, unconditional love. And so your higher self is telling you to feel that joy, celebrate it. Don't turn your back on it. Embrace it. So, twin flame connection. He knows what this connection means. Now, the four wands also could represent marriage, engagement, um, buying a home together in the 3D, but it's a 3D manifestation of the twin flame connection, but it's also in line with spirituality. So again, with the wands, the masculine and the wands. Now, I haven't read most of these descriptions. Um, I'm using the writer weight deck mostly, so I'm being prompted to read the description here. Okay, so the key word is happiness, celebration, sharing, renewal. So again, that feeling of celebration, success. Like beautiful summer day, this card brings joyful energy. Take a break or step back just for now from any concerns you may have around matters of the heart and spend time in happy pursuits. Find reasons to celebrate with others. Welcome this warm sunny energy into your life. Allow it to lift your spirits. Remember the law of attraction and a high rate of vibration will attract all that you desire. Rejuvenate your relationships by renewing yourself. This card also speaks of a time of sharing and conversation. 
Lovingly open your heart and mind to people. Share your thoughts and above all, be a good listener. Feel the ebb and flow of energy as you communicate with others. You'll find that this brings increased stability and warmth into your relationship, helping you attract like-minded people into your life. So, law of attraction. What you send out, you get back. And you can see that energy manifesting. High vibrations. Um, so, listen to your intuition. Listen to your higher self. Follow your heart. Open yourself up. You know, um, heal yourself, but at the same time, open yourself. Feel joy, feel love, celebrate life. Message from the higher self from the feminine is the Seven of Wands. So, there's a progression here. There's like a seven, eight, and a nine. So, the seven, it's almost like the feminine is trying to find her power, her strength courage she you know the the seven of wands is stand your ground she you know the king of the hill you know your core values and beliefs and you can express them so she's wavering um she feels like she's losing her power and that be the may be the reason why she's closing off and withdrawing so because i read that card i will read this one So the key word, conviction, resistance, defense. Oop, wrong one. Oh, this that's right. This is the um, John Holland Psychic Tarot. So I got the wrong one, the wrong book. But again, you know, I read that by accident, but it was a message that needed to be heard. So defensive pose. You know, she's, she's holding back or... Um, resisting an energy okay so it says this card comes at a time when you're being tested and challenged there may or may be fierce competition and potential rivals surrounding you in your personal or business life but know that you have the strength and inner courage to oh one moment sorry about that okay so let me start again this card comes at a time when you're being tested and challenged there may, may be fierce competition and potential rivals surrounding you in your personal or business life, but know that you have the strength and inner courage to stand your ground, no matter how hard or formidable things may appear. Don't surrender or give up control you, that you have. Be brave and stay true to your core values and beliefs which are your best allies and will help you move forward. It's important to remain clear and focused for you may have to stand alone and defend your convictions to the end. Maintain your health and stay strong so that you have an ample supply of energy to endure anything at this, as this could be a long and arduous, arduous yet ultimately hard-won victory. Wow, I still can't talk. Um, anyway, so what I'm feeling here, it's almost like the feminine um, is... Focusing on herself now. Um, she is not compromising. She, she knows what she wants and she's leaving it to spirit or she's being asked to leave it to spirit. To withdraw from this connection. And, you know, by the law of attraction that, that draws the masculine to her. But really I, I feel... Um, you know, the feminine closing off, being defensive. Okay, so the masculine's past position, healing begins, six of swords. So this is moving on from conflict, negative thoughts, negative energy. So what I see here is, you know, the feminine opening up the masculine's soul. Here, her heart chakra is activated, and here the masculine's heart chakra is activated. So there was this moment of clarity and it came from a, a feminine you know a gentle nurturing energy opened the masculine and and it helped him to heal so 
although the masculine is, you know, retreating there, he's reflecting on the past, um, on the vibration, the loving vibration that the feminine showed him. So the feminine past position is intuition, the high priestess. So in the past, the feminine was being represented as this highly intuitive goddess, being able to look beyond the surface, you know, and she uses her intuition to guide her. So the third eye chakra activation, higher consciousness activation. So she was allowing, you know, she was listening to her inner voice and she was following that. Um, you know, so what I'm feeling here is a lot of scattered energy. She's trying to regain power and direction. She feels like she's giving too much of herself. And... Yeah. Okay, so the masculine's present moment. Control, the strength card. So this is all about turning within and taming the beast within. You know, um, using love, kindness, and compassion in order to transmute a negative environment into an open space. So he's being tested. Um and he's realizing that he has this strength within, this core strength that it's almost like it's protecting him, shielding him, awakening him. So instead of lashing out, he is going within and using love, kindness, and compassion in order to deal with you know, making decisions and reconsidering and resting, that kind of thing. But ultimately, I feel that love is calling him. The feminine present moment, wow, temptation, the devil. What is going on with you feminines? So this is the ego, fear. It is a chain in the 3D reality. So codependent uh, codependent relationship and addiction, self-limiting beliefs. So currently the feminine is really struggling. She's battling an internal demon as well. So let me pull an Osho Zen card for that. What do you mean by the devil spirit? Guidance, the Three of Pentacles, and while we're at it, we might as well pull a card for the control. Okay, so he's healing. He's in a healing state. That's a King of Cups. So we feel that healing energy, you know, in these two cards coming from the past. Healing begins, and he's feeling that healing energy. He's trying to trust. He's trying to keep that crack open and not close off. So let me read that one first, healing. It is a time when the deeply buried wounds of the past are coming to the surface, ready and available to be healed. The figure in this card is naked, vulnerable, open to loving touch of existence. The aura around his body is full of light, and the quality of relaxation, caring, and love that surrounds him is dissolving his struggle and suffering. Oh, that's beautiful. Lotuses of light appear on his physical body and around the subtle energy bodies that healers say surround each of us. In each of these subtle layers appears a healing crystal or pattern. When we are under the healing influence of the king of water, we are no longer hiding from ourselves or others. In this attitude of openness and acceptance, we can be healed and help others also to be healthy and whole. So he's healing himself first so that he, he's, you know, 
he felt broken in the past. And so you must heal yourself and love yourself first before you can be truly open to an experience like a twin flame connection. So the feminine got the three of pentacles, guidance. And that's for the devil card. You have to look for guidance because you don't know your inner guide is hidden inside of you. You have to find the inner guide. That's what I call your witness. That's what I call your dharma. That's what I call your intrinsic Buddha. You have to awaken that Buddha and your life will shower blessings and benedictions. Your life will become so radiant with good, with godliness, more than you can possibly conceive. It's almost like light. Your, dark, your room is dark, just bring in light. Even a small candle, <clears throat> sorry, even a small candle will do. And the whole darkness disappears. And once you have a candle, you know where the door is. You don't have to think about it. Where is the door? Only blind people think about where the door is. People who have eyes and the light is there, they don't think. Have you ever thought, where is the door? You simply get up and go out. You never have a single thought to where the door is. You don't start groping for the door or hitting your head against the wall. You simply see. There is no flicker of thought. You simply go out. So the feminine is being tested and um, she's being asked to walk out of that dark room. Release the chain, whatever's holding her back. And, you know, this card also speaks of using your inner Buddha, your, your, you know, you're being divinely guided. And so trust that, trust that inner guidance. You know, it's like a knock on the door from your higher self, from your intuition. So the future position for the masculine Six of Cups, simply love. So this is a reunion card, somebody from the past coming back, somebody from childhood. Um, so what I'm feeling strongly is he's moving towards that reunion. Um, I feel like I need to read that card too. Sorry I'm doing so much reading, guys, but there's a lot of heavy, heavy energy right now especially from the feminine, so this energy needs to be cleared. Okay, so simply love, innocence, nostalgia, kindness, children. People often fondly remember the innocence of youth as a time when life seems simpler. This card is a call to action to bring that innocence and energy into the present and into your relationships. As much as you can, interact with others from a pure, open heart, full of love and free of ulterior motives. Do this and you'll find that your relationship will deepen and require far less effort. When you reminisce about your past, bring back only the happy memories and cherish them. Kindness and generosity are at the forefront when this card appears. Look for ways to help family and friends, especially children. Reach out to them and assist them in a way Sorry, assist them and sorry, reach out to them and assist them in any way you can. Sometimes just a bit of attention is all someone needs. When kindness prevails, relationships flourish. And if you're hoping to become pregnant or adopt a child, this card is positive sign. So um what I feel here is, you know, that king of cups, that masculine loving energy just spreading his love to all, especially to his family, and, his, and if he has children, to his children. Um, so, yeah, I feel more healing. And again, for some, this could mean reunion, somebody from the past coming back to you, or you returning to somebody from the past. Future position for the feminine is the Five of Swords, Conflict and Defeat. So... This is walking away from negative energy, negative people, negative thinking. And so here in the past we have the Six of Swords. That's making the decision to move to a calmer state of mind. 
Um, so it's similar energies here. However, the feminine is feeling defeated, beaten down. Again, it's like she's giving so much of herself and she's not getting anything in return. The number five mental card represents significant learning and change. And how you handle yourself at this time is, a vital, is vital to your overall well-being. This card could relate to lack of sensitivity in taking action or in response to conditions or situations around you. This need for sensitivity could relate to you or someone in your life. Even though a battle can be won, it's important to reevaluate the cost and pain to both parties. Sometimes it's best to surrender and walk away if no answers or victory can be achieved. Don't assign blame, become deceitful, or, or set out to get revenge, for this results in a negative energy becoming part of you. You are being tested now on how delicately and gently you take your next step. Remember, everything in your life is an opportunity to learn and grow. So either the feminine is walking away from the masculine and just giving up, you know, feeling defeated. Fuck it is what I hear. So be careful of that negative thinking. I feel that the feminine is really consumed by that in the moment. So what you choose now will have far-reaching consequences. How you deal with this devil energy um, really kind of shows your character. You know, don't compromise yourself to make somebody else happy. Okay, so the message from the universe for the masculine third eye chakra. Using his intuition to guide him, right? And it's pointing right to the subconscious mind as the higher self where the third eye chakra would be activated. The high priestess has her third eye chakra activated, but this is a message from the universe. So this is using your intuition to guide you. What do you know to be true? Look deep inside of yourself. What feels right? What, where is this success leading you? Right? So the overall message here is rest and reconsideration. So while you're in this restful state, while you're healing, really connect with yourself in order to find the answers. Because you're being called. You're being drawn. And it feels to me like the feminine is like throwing in the towel, giving up. She feels like she's given too much of herself. And so she is leaving it to you in a way. It's almost like she's saying, if you want me, come get me. I'm tired of chasing you. I'm tired of longing. I'm tired of wanting. I'm going to find my own power, Re regain that power. So it's a pilgrimage of self-discovery here. Realizing how strong you are. It's remembering who you are. Okay, so the external... Oops, sorry. Um, message from the universe for the feminine. Eight of Pentacles, positive movement forward. So there is movement forward. There is growth here. You're just refusing to see it. There is a stable foundation. There is... Um, you know, there's a sense that you put a lot of work and effort into this connection or into manifesting your dreams into the 3D reality, but maybe you're putting too much focus on that. Um, there is growth, there is movement, um, there is abundance coming into your life, and so be thankful of that, you know, and continue to work because... Um, you create your reality, right? If you're going to focus on all of this negative energy, then that's what you will manifest. So Spirit is really asking you to clear that field and stay positive. External environment for the masculine to swords. So the external environment would represent the feminine energy. So the feminine, you know, she had the two of cups up here, or sorry, the two of pentacles. Um, so there's a choice or a decision that she, the feminine is waiting for, or she's refusing to see, right? This is using your intuition. 
um, you know, seeing beyond illusion. And so she may be caught in a cycle of disillusion at the moment. So the Two of Swords is having two choices. Both have far-reaching consequences. So this decision may be coming from you or she needs to make that decision. Either way, there's a blockage there. There, you know, the third eye chakra is being blocked by this helmet, this steel. So let me pull one card to see exactly whose energy that is. Whose energy is a two of swords spirit? Thunderbolt. Wow, the tower. So let's read it and hopefully you know, point to whose energy that's coming from. Oh my god, sorry. There it is. Okay, so the card shows a tower being burned, destroyed, blown apart. A man and a woman are leaping from it, not because they want to, but because they have no choice. In the background is a transparent meditating figure representing the witnessing consciousness. You might be feeling pretty shaky right now, as if the earth is rocking beneath your feet. Your sense of security is being challenged, and the natural tendency is to try to hold on to whatever you can. But this inner earthquake is both necessary and tremendously important, if you allow it. You will emerge from the wreckage stronger and more available for new experiences after the fire. The earth is replenished after the storm. The air is clear. Try to watch the destruction from with detachment, almost as if it were happening to somebody else. Say yes to the process by meeting it halfway. There's that word again. Say yes. I can't remember where else I read it, but there's this energy of saying no, no, no by the feminine I'm feeling and you know it's pointing to this indecision refusing to see re refusing to see the vibrancy or the excitement the love that's coming and healing that's coming from the masculine side it's like the feminine is turning her back and giving up so this card talks about consciousness feeling like the foundation is crumbling and so what I'm feeling is this the, is the feminine. The feminine is letting go, and that's creating a sense of instability. And she doesn't feel safe and secure. She's allowing the ego to take control. So, you know, it is a growth card. Um, it's like she is destroying her own foundation so that she can find some stability of her own. So the external environment for the feminine, nine of swords, suffering in silence. So this is feeling disconnected. I feel this is coming from her. Um, and if not, uh, the masculine is projecting this energy of of disconnection. So the Nine of Swords is nearing the completion of this energy. So this is anxiety, fear, stress, worry, guilt, inability to sleep, stabbing thoughts. You know, and I almost feel, you know, this is maybe the masculine, the feminine is looking at the masculine suffering. And so spirit is asking him to open up you know, because, like I said, there's this feeling that the feminine's giving up. So the Five of Cups is in the masculine's fear position. So change your focus. This card represents mourning, loss, pain. And for the first time, we have somebody looking towards this connection. The focus is turned towards the feminine. So change your focus. Um, you know, this is a closed off heart, somebody who fears having their heart broken. So open up, you know, obviously you have to heal first, but 
um, almost feeling, feeling like a missed or lost opportunity. If you let it go too long, I feel like things are crumbling, things are coming apart. And this is for some, not all, okay? It is a heavy reading. So what is a feminine fear? Sacrifice hangman. She also fears switching perspectives, seeing things differently, changing your focus. The hangman is just that, seeing a different perspective. So once again, she has turned her back on the connection. So don't fear letting go. Don't try to control the situation. And if you feel you need to disconnect and, and walk away, then do that. But doing, do it from a loving space, self-love. Okay, so I'm going to pull two cards from Miss and Mermaid. So this will be the overall messages from the universe, final messages. Feminine. Tale of Mossy Gold and the Masculine. Flying fish. Very interesting. It, this is very reflective of his energy at the moment. And this is definitely reflective of the energy of the feminine. Wow. Couldn't have asked for some better cards to show up. It's almost like I'm, you know, that song Say Something, I'm I'm giving up on you. Uh, who sings that? Brianna. So he got 11, I was just noticing. And so the feminine card is six. <clears throat> okay. Unkept, untended. My scales go unmended. The longer I slog through the mire, sullied and tattered, bedraggled and battered, lacking the care I require. A red-headed mermaid blushes a chagrin as she exhibits her tail. Once a shiny gold, the tail is now tinged with green swamp moss. Visible evidence of personal neglect. The message, do not forget to take care of yourself. You've been, falling, you've been feeling run down lately with a good reason, as you have not been listening to your body's natural cues. Now is the time to take care of yourself before things get any worse. Remember the importance of sleep. Too often we think of sleep as an inconvenience or intrusion on our busy lives. Take the time to recognize it for what it really is, wonderful, natural way to restore the body, mind, and soul. Keep your body clean. You make a point of keeping the outside of your body clean through regular showers and hand washing, but, we, but how we treat the inside of our body is just as important. An emphasis on whole natural foods can do wonders for your well-being, as can abstaining from dangerous chemicals and potentially harmful, <clears throat> sorry, potentially harmfully controlled substances. Finally, do not forget to exercise. Any amount of physical activity is better than none, and even a few extra steps per day can be beneficial to your health. So what I feel here very strongly is that the feminine is disconnecting for, to, you know, um, it's a self-love. You know, you've been neglecting yourself. You've been giving too much. And so... I see it as such a beautiful energy to embrace. So the masculine got flying fish, 11. Swallow your fears about falling and focus on all you can be. For soon you'll be sailing through sunlight as fast as you swam in the sea. A butterfly winged angel fish glides effortlessly through the air before a pleasantly pastoral scene. The juxtaposition between sky and sea suggests a feeling of incongruence, yet the fish appears content with its surroundings. The message, a fish out of water. Lately you have been asking yourself the same question again and again, what am I doing here? You're feeling out of your element and ill at ease. Different faces, different rules, different expecta expectations. It can certainly be overwhelming, but remember, it is important to leave your comfort zone now and then and then, in order to grow. You might not fit at first, but give it, a, give it time. After all, you have adapted to new situations in the past. It might take patience. It might take more effort than you're used to putting forth. 
but you can definitely do it again. So what I'm feeling, the masculine is healing his heart and he's trying to find the strength to move towards union, which he, which he does, you know, the ultimate union, four of wands. Um, so find the fucking courage to do that, okay? <laughs> Because the feminine is giving up and walking away. She feels like she's giving too much of herself. So send that healing energy back to the feminine. She's been giving you love, unconditional love. Help her to heal. Alright, so I hope this helped, guys. Much love.